So it's been about 12 plus hours since the notice, the tweets have appeared for both Global and JP that the game is officially going to be shutting down at the end of February, which really caught a lot of players uh, by surprise. Uh, a lot of players are shocked. A lot of players uh, have mixed feelings about the whole situation. A lot of players are pretty bummed out and have also been uh, sharing uh, why you enjoy the game, what what you got out of the game, uh, so on and so forth. So in this video, uh, I am going to share a, a couple things about the game, how, how I feel about the game, how I feel about the whole situation, what my plans are going to be. Am I going to continue playing this game up until uh, the game finally shuts down in February? Uh, what is going to be happening after February? Like, what am I going to be focusing on? You know, just everything to let you guys know what's uh, what's happening. Just because uh, last night I did went live after the notice appeared for both versions of the game, letting us know that it was shutting down. And... Uh, yeah, I, I like my initial reaction to seeing that the game was shutting down was I was pretty speechless. I was pretty bummed out. I was pretty sad because like again, like I, I've been playing this game for uh, for years. I, I've been a day one player for Global uh, JP. I've been playing ever since Renoa's uh, introduction into the game uh, first happened. So it's been. Uh, I mean, I put a lot of time into both versions of the game, even having multiple accounts uh, for this game for the purposes of content or, you know, just to uh, pull on banners that I would not pull on on my main account. So there, there has been a lot of things that has happened uh, ever since I first started playing the game, initially just streaming the game, then jumping into uh, making content uh, because, like, initially when I first started making content, I was not entirely serious about it like i would upload clips uh from my streams but that's about it but then it got to the point where you know i i like uh something big happened it affected me mentally and uh, i pretty much used uh, used uh uh, what do you call it? I used YouTube. I use uh, creating content for Opera Omnia as my way to cope through through the pain from from what had happened. So uh, a, a lot has definitely changed, and like now, it like basically just doing content for for this game and just in general for uh, content for the channel uh, has uh, pr practically turned into a part time job. So uh, a, a lot has definitely changed. But uh, Opera Omnia, uh, one of the biggest things that I really enjoyed about Opera Omnia is that it gave me the opportunity to learn about other characters from other Final Fantasies. Before uh, before Opera Omnia, the only Final Fantasy that I played was uh, was FF7. Um, then I jumped into playing FF15, then jumping into FF14, and then, you know, I kind of like, I, I like attempted, or if not, maybe put in like an hour or two of a uh, gameplay, uh, or at least like time into like other Final Fantasies, but like, Opera Omnia really opened my, my, my curiosity into wanting to try out other Final Fantasy games, like wanting to actually uh, play them, like sit down and playing them, you know, get to experience what everybody else who has played uh, these Final Fantasies that I've not played, uh, I, l see if I can share the same experience that, 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 uh, that they experienced when they played it. So Final Fantasy uh, Opera Omnia really, really like in, like opened up the doors for me to potentially explore other Final Fantasy. Because honestly, if it wasn't for Dissidia, I probably would not have... Uh, I, I, I wouldn't have uh, played any of these other Final Fantasy games. I would just continue on playing uh, 16, which I'm currently uh, back into playing at the moment. And then, you know, so on and so forth as they release uh, Final Fantasies uh, throughout the next couple of years and whatnot. So, uh, yeah... I, I, I definitely have to thank the city of Opera Omnia for uh, basically just opening the doors and um, allowing me to to learn about uh, other characters from other Final Fantasies. Now, uh, of course, the game has changed throughout the six 
seven years that 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 the game has been active i mean like we have had we definitely have had uh, a lot of challenging fights we have had a lot of interesting changes happen to the global version that jp even till this day uh still does not have like global has a lot of quality of life updates compared to what the jp version has which it's kind of crazy it's 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 crazy to think about that that uh that we don't even have the uh, the 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 what do you call it the party button that 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 shows what party and everything that is attached to said characters like the, the party use button uh, uh, on uh, on JP so like there 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 was a lot that changed like even the difficulty the difficulty I felt like uh, before uh, Shinryu I felt like the difficulty would uh, was actually like it, it it basically slowly but smoothly went up and gradually went up in difficulty going from cosmos to chaos and then chaos to lufenia lufenia to lufenia plus and then shinryu up until re shinryu and jp seeing as how global is not going to be getting re shinryu uh since yeah they they're, they're not planning on releasing uh any of the uh the characters that uh that that jp has but global is not going to be getting which is uh, which i'll get into here in just a bit um but yeah so a lot has definitely changed uh with opera on there and uh, uh, uh again a lot of a lot of good things but there were some bad things uh for for this game uh one of the things that i felt like affected the player base uh for this game in terms of uh having fun uh in terms of the the difficulty in terms of uh just them thinking that this is what we wanted uh was the fact that um that uh, a lot of the changes that they attempted to do they thought that it is what we wanted but it wasn't i, I felt like there, there were a couple things that that players were were, were not a fan of and uh, I, I know one of them one of the top things that i know a lot of players have said was uh was uh, like was the whole force time uh, the force time mechanic, all that good stuff. I, I, a lot of players were not really too crazy about that, especially because for God knows how long, uh, Shinryu fights, they they basically was a straight up charge up the gauge and clap the enemies. That that's basically what it was, and to a lot of players, it, it started to get really dull very very quickly and so players started losing interest and they started uh making a whole bunch of changes you know they, they were definitely on point when it came to a lot of quality of life updates but i felt like they were missing a very good amount when it came to the 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 satisfaction of their player base and so because of that i feel like it is one of the one of the uh big reasons why like interest in this game slowly died down uh, the other thing that still to this day bugs me was the fact that 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 they decided to switch the the amount of events that we would get per week. So previously it used to be where we would get about uh, two, uh, two events per week at most, right? Maybe three if we're lucky. Uh, and then they decided to switch it to only one event per week. Now, the reason that they said that they decided to do this is because, and I remember this clear as day from the translations, but... They said that the reason is because they wanted to give players more time to play other games. They said that this will lead them to be able to improve animations, to be able to improve uh, anything else that was needed in the game. To me, I felt like that was a uh, that was a lie to an extent. I felt like they did this because they may have noticed that things that. Uh, like either things have just not been looking too great when it comes to the revenue of the game or just the fact that they had other games that they were working on like example ever crisis um that that they that they decided to just lose ba basically moving the resources that they that they had for opera omnia and moving it to like uh, other uh other games like other uh other areas that needed uh some additional help so there was there I felt like that excuse, and I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna stick to my guns on this, but like I felt like that was just an excuse for them to to basically just like spread out the content, have less work on them, and I felt like 
that hurt them in the long run. I, I felt like because of the fact that um, that there was not enough to do, uh, because I felt like they weren't putting enough effort into it, uh, and because they were not seeing the revenue coming in even before that change, I, I generally think that it is probably the biggest reason why it led to the, to the downfall of this game. Uh, a lot of the other things about this game is great. You know, story was great. Uh, gameplay uh, was great at times. There definitely could have been some improvements on that, especially uh, when it comes to like repetitive things. Example, again, uh, the, the whole charge gauge and, and clap thing like that got old very quickly for uh, for a lot of players. So uh, uh, that, I, I, I again, I generally feel like it was probably one of the biggest reasons as to why things started going downhill. Then, of course, we noticed that Global decided to all of a sudden change up the scheduling from, from what they were following on JP. Then we started getting, getting countless amounts of story updates on the Global side. And just little things here and there made me question their motives. Like, it made me wonder, like, are they trying to rush us for a potential merge? Or are they trying to rush us because of the fact that they are trying to squeeze out as much money as they could from their player base before they... To kind of, like, determine, should we continue supporting Opera Omnia or should we just go ahead and shut it down? Now, this is just how I feel about it. This is just, uh, just this is this is very opinionated. Of course, everybody is going to be feeling very different about this. And at the end of the day, I mean, with the game shutting down, it just, it, it, it sucks. It, it, it honestly just sucks. And I really wish that uh, that they would have listened to to the community a whole lot more to uh, to what they thought. That they were doing which i don't really think that they were entirely doing uh doing said thing i i felt like they could have done a whole lot more to try to keep the player base happy and at the same time they would continue to earn the revenue or whatever amount of revenue that they were trying to get they're, they're, again there's, there's a lot of things that um that they could have done right but i felt like there were a lot of decisions and choices that that was definitely not needed so at the end of the day, it is what it is. The game is officially going to be ending uh, at the end of February, which sucks. We do have some content that we can actually do, some content that is going to be released uh, here throughout the next couple of weeks up until uh, end of service. I don't know exactly what else they, they could potentially do uh, other than what we already know so far, seeing as how they have already released a schedule uh, letting us know what is going to be dropping here for the next couple of weeks uh, for both versions of the game. But uh, um, yeah, I uh, it, 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 again, it sucks. I am still bummed out about it, uh, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, I mean, you know, eventually it was going to happen. I had a feeling that it was going to happen uh, at some point very, very soon. Uh, and then once I noticed that both games were having maintenance at the same time, I'm like, yeah, I this this is not looking too good. And that, that's why I was pretty quiet the, the past couple of days. Uh, ju it, just because like it, it, it was not looking like it was going the way that, that a lot of us wanted it, which was to uh, uh, to let us know like who was the newest character for JP, what's going to be coming up for uh, for global default, so on and so forth. It, it was definitely the complete opposite. Um, so what's going to happen with the channel? So am I going to continue playing Opera Omnia until uh, uh, until end of service? Yes, I will. Uh, will I be making videos about it? Probably not. I will probably clip some stuff from my live stream. So I will be live streaming anything that gets dropped uh, for Global and or JP. And uh, we'll pretty much move on from there. This does open up doors for me. This does open up the opportunity for me to be able to uh, stream a whole lot more. And I have to worry about... Um, about um, uh, uh, having to put time, having to, to set aside time uh, for uh, for live streams, letting you guys know about whether whether or not you should pull for this and that. Like it does open a door and allow me to be able to 
uh, to to stream other games, to be able to try out other games. What other mobile games could I potentially try out to see if um, uh, if maybe I could actually uh, make content on this, so on and so forth. Because the only other gacha game that I'm currently playing right now is uh, Hunkai Star Rail. So there are other games that are, that are going to be coming up very soon. I know Kingdom Hearts Missing Link is a big one for a lot of players. There is currently a beta at the moment right now, which I have I, I was unable to uh, to get in, which sucks. Hopefully, I can get into the Android beta whenever that is going to happen. Uh, we do have a few other mobile games that's going to be popping up here and there. I might try it out. I might stream it and uh, kind of see how it goes. Uh, if not, then there are definitely other games that I, that uh, I need to catch up on. I need to complete. Like uh, Final Fantasy 16, uh, I'm actually considering, uh, like, really considering uh, trying Elden Ring again because my first first experience with that type of game uh, was definitely not the best. But I want to give it another shot. Uh, there are there is another thing where I can actually uh, play a lot of the Final Fantasies that I have not played uh, at all so maybe we can do like a uh, uh, so, uh, like a good amount of streams when it comes to playing final uh, some of these other final fantasies I've not played like uh, one two three uh, four five uh, eight nine ten uh, not, I'm not playing eleven uh, what do you call it 12 13 and yeah so on and so forth right so yeah th there was definitely a lot that I can actually do with the channel and hopefully uh, through through the efforts of doing all of that through the F to through uh, me trying to push through and hopefully find myself a new game that I can actually cover on the channel that maybe even I can get some of you guys to play as well then uh, hopefully we can uh, go on about it if not then like I said I would like at the end of the day, I'm just gonna continue streaming just like I did before, and uh, we'll 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 see we'll see what happens. So, um, before I go, I have read your guys' comments from the stream that I did late last night uh, when the notice appeared, and uh, I just want to uh, thank everybody who watched that stream or commented, like whatever. Um, and, you know, so a lot of a lot of. Uh, a lot of people, a lot, a lot of you guys have been leaving a lot of comments, uh, thanking me for the content that I have been, uh, that I, that I, I continued, uh, to throw out to you guys so that you guys can stay informed with like, you know, characters that, that were supposed to be dropping gameplay, all that good stuff. Uh, I have been reading your comments throughout the day and last night. I've been barely got any sleep last night but i was uh i was listening to uh, i was reading and listening to uh, a, a lot of uh, people's opinions about the whole situation it's definitely a lot of mixed feelings a lot of people are sad about the situation i completely understand i'm still pretty bummed out about it as well but i am going to stand strong i am going to continue playing the game until the very end until the last day where the game finally shuts down so uh uh, thank you to to everybody to ha who has uh, left comments uh, thanking me for everything that I have done. Uh, I appreciate it. I I generally do. You guys are amazing. A fantastic community uh, that that was built around the content that I was doing. And I just want to say, uh, I just want to say thanks. I I, I I I really appreciate it. I really uh, appreciate the feedback, whether it was positive or negative, because you know I always take. I, I I can't say that I take it to heart uh, when it comes to like the neg the negative comments, but like you know I I I learn f I learn from a lot of mistakes that I have done, and I have come out uh, a better content creator in my opinion, uh, and that does include a lot of the negative comments that I tend to get here and there. Uh, but um, but yeah, no, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has uh, stuck around, and, and if you guys are gonna continue to stick around on the channel for whatever it is I'm, that I'm gonna be doing. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. And uh, again, yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know what else to say other than uh, let's uh, let's see how things go. Let's see how things progress on the channel, and uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll move forward. Oh, that's all we can do right now is just move forward and uh, do what we have to do. So. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hearing me rant. I probably repeated myself so many times, but like, <sighs> yeah, end of service. Freaking sucks. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. It, it, it is what it is. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.